So if you are watching this video, you are either undecided on which Avenger to use and are looking for a different opinion on who might fit your play style, or are just curious in general as to what perks each offer. Today, although I won't go into full depth of what each Avenger offers in terms of end game depth to their skill trees, etc, etc, as I do want to leave something for you guys to actually experience for yourselves. Today, I will more so just give you an opinion on each Avenger after using them for countless hours, discussing the pros and cons that come with each. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you do enjoy your stay here and would like to show your support, hitting that like button truly helps out. Also subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more. Also people, because this is a new game, I will be giving you guys a chance to win a copy, any platform you want. All you have to do is like this video and leave a comment down below with the platform you play on. I will pick winners in a few days and announce them in videos to come. Now we'll straight up state. Picking the right Avenger to use being a massive fan is really really hard because your heart will tell you one thing yet your brain after playing might say another. True hardcore players will probably play as them all but not everyone like me and you have that much time on their hands and can dedicate their life to a game hence why I'm making this video. So I'll give you guys my opinion on each Avenger, the positives and negatives and well probably at the end of the video tell you guys the Avenger I'm going to use first and why. Also this is the main 6 Avengers, Mr Marvel, Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, Captain America and Black Widow. I play on Xbox so I won't ever get to use Spidey, which is a shame but let's not go there. This is also based on gameplay alone and not cosmetics and which will or could look the best because let's face it, a theory itself for costume would win hands down. Ok so let's start. And while the very first character you get to use properly within the campaign is Miss Marvel aka Camilla Khan. So Miss Marvel for me is who I call the all rounded Avenger and I think it's quite obvious once you use her and then move on to other Avengers. She therefore comes across as the most agile Avenger so far. But using her and actually leveling through her skill trees, she seems in my opinion to be best made into a semi support character. Now I say semi because a full on support character is not what I'd describe her as because she has many different uses which can outweigh her support traits. Now yes for sure, the tires can be turned here and she can be made into something quite brutal, in quite a little tank where she can take and receive quite large amounts of damage and also deal decent damage too. But a few of her later upgrades like Will to Fight which allow her to be down twice without needing the assistance of a teammate to recover, an obvious distraction where all nearby enemies are aggroed to her, this will obviously take aggro away from your teammates, these kind of skills with her is where I'll get that support title from. Now like I said the ties can turn and she can be made into something that deals and can receive and take quite a lot of damage but her best uses in my opinion would be in support of her other Avengers for sure. So Miss Marvel, in my opinion probably the best well rounded Avenger in the game with her elongated attacks, ability to take out groups of mobs at the same time and an Avenger you honestly can't go wrong with and one that will feel when using her that she just for sure feels right. Ok so moving on and next up we have Hulk. So where do we start with this monster of a man? Well firstly I will state. Hulk is probably the most obvious in terms of imagining what kind of role he will play in terms of what he offers as an Avenger to this game. He is straight up a destroy machine and by far the best out of the standard lineup of characters to just destroy all. Now this I feel for all the Avengers in this game, I feel they can be built up normally within two different ways besides a couple of one directional characters. But like I said, Miss Marvel, she can play that support role as well as being that damage taking machine. Hulk on the other hand, he plays either the ultimate damage dealing machine or a tank where he can be built up to tank damage like nobody else, as you really could imagine. So some of his tanking skills, Bone Shaker Regeneration, where if he defeats 5 enemies, it will restore his health as long as that Bone Shaker heroic skill is active. And looking through his skill trees a little further, this can be comboed along with many other things to make his tanking abilities unmatched. Now like I said, I don't want to ruin all the fun of learning these skill trees, I'd like for you to do that yourself, so I won't mention many of what they offer in terms of upgrades and what can be done. I'll just do as I do and round them all up 
and give you guys my opinion on what they could offer when built up together. Exactly how they offer that though, I do want you to learn that for yourself. So in terms of damage output the Hulk can do, a skill does spring to mind which kind of sums up the Hulk and what it's all about, the Ground Zero Ultimate Heroic skill. Thunderclap sucks in nearby enemies and launches them into the air. When they land, they will find themselves in a gamma pool which inflicts even more damage. So it isn't all just about melee bashing for damage output, some of his moves have been truly thought about. Now Hulk like I said, you know what you are getting with him, just a destroying machine. What I will state is though, to me it kinda came with a few flaws. His movement and agility felt slow. Tying certain combos together also felt like an age. And although I don't actually think he moves any slower than the other Avengers, because of the size of him, it does feel that way. Not that it even matters though, because as you know with the Hulk, and what you want from the Hulk, and what you'd expect from the Hulk, you're probably gonna get it and be happy with it. Okay, so moving on, and next up, Iron Man. Now Iron Man, I won't lie, kinda to me felt the most advanced in terms of what he can indeed offer. And well, you'd expect that from a dude in a robotic suit. Now in terms of what he does offer, I do feel Iron Man's best traits come from when he's airborne, for the most part, and having the ability to fly, I felt when using him, was by far the easiest to manoeuvre out of danger. Now this I will mention wasn't what I first thought when using him, it took me a little while to get used to how to control him, but once I did I honestly loved every second of it. Now to me what was most apparent when using Iron Man were two things, and I guessed it before even looking at his skill trees as to which directions he could be taken. Firstly, ranged attacks, Iron Man can be built up easily in my opinion as the best ranged Avenger, I mean to a point of literally being kind of a slightly OP if used right at a distance. Now I say OP actually that's false, he isn't OP at all, it's how in reality he should indeed be. If you were to build Iron Man for a game like this, I do feel they got him right. So yeah, being built for range is definitely one way to go when using him. But on the other hand, the other direction is the complete opposite, because he is also amazing in terms of close quarters combat, if built right. Now he won't ever be as powerful as those with moves like Thor or Hulk, but his close range combat is nothing to be overlooked. What I learned quickly with Iron Man is how potent his dodge blast is if used correctly and it saved me more times than I can remember when being jumped on by a group of ads. And moments like this I was certain I wouldn't have survived if I was on another Avenger. A couple of his heroic skills which match really both long range and close quarter fights, the precision refractor, where his unit beam will last 3 seconds or longer, and concentrated fire where the damage from this unit beam increases the longer it sticks to a single target. This is a great weapon against bosses and those bigger targets for sure. But yeah, Iron Man is a very exciting character, one I do feel people will truly love. He offers in my opinion the most in terms of his advanced skill tree, which can take paths in a variety of different exciting ways, but at the same time I do believe his ability to fly, although great for certain instances, I do feel it takes away from what other Avengers can offer. Also by the way, he unlike Hulk, Miss Marvel and Thor, Iron Man can't break through breakable doors with a heavy attack. He has to use the Hulk Buster's ranged shot to do so, which sometimes can be a pain. So yes, all in all, Iron Man is a great character, a fan favourite I feel for sure. Ok so moving on and next up we have Black Widow. Now Black Widow unlike the other Avengers, she really doesn't have any true special abilities in terms of being able to fly super strength or anything of that kind. And looking through what she offers in terms of her skill trees, she I do feel is one of a few Avengers which are one directional in terms of build style. A style which is just as you might have guessed it, a straight up assassin, a stealthy assassin with the ability to go invisible which is amazing. Now using her probably the least, I will state I do feel I had the most fun with her. She is strangely against everything I stood for as a Thor fan and wanted to like him the best, I actually think I prefer Black Widow as she definitely suits my style of play and what I enjoy doing. Now what she does is take the better parts of Iron Man's close quarters perks and amps them up a little. She is without doubt in my opinion the most fluid Avenger yet, I mean fluid in a sense of her close range combat and how smooth it feels and how it all works in conjunction with what she has to offer. Now the reason I probably liked her the best was probably her lack of natural powers, 
but because of this she has amped up gadgets which just work so well i mean she can't reach great heights like iron man nor swing from great heights like miss marvel but she has a grapple hook which works incredibly she doesn't have the power to shunt enemies away like hulk but she has a well balanced stun gun which saved me more times than i can remember she can't really take out groups of ads with ease like Thor or Hulk, but she can, once charged, activate her ultimate heroic, and then people it truly is just watch. Out. So in reality, this one dimensional Avenger, or one directional Avenger in my opinion, is the right direction to go. You honestly can't go wrong with her. She for me right now, is the one I had most fun with, probably mainly due to her lack of actual abilities, but her arsenal of weapons truly make up for that, and then some. Now Black Widow, kinda like Iron Man, can't break through these broken doors with her every attack, but she can hack doors, which I'm not sure any other Avenger can do. I mean I'll expect Iron Man to be able to do this, but I haven't quite tested that out on him yet. Okay guys, so next up we have Thor, and well, he doesn't disappoint, as I was hoping he wouldn't. Thor, I will state, I was most excited about using, more so than the preview at the start of the campaign, and when I actually got him, I wasn't disappointed. What Thor is, is basically a spectacle, he's the Hollywood movie of this game, full of special effects, powers and so much more. And while you'd probably say you ain't surprised, and he is how you imagined he would be. Now in regards to what he offers in terms of a playable character and not just lights and fireworks, well to make it pretty easy to understand, he is kinda like a hybrid between Iron Man and Hulk, and well in my opinion probably offering the best of both. He's great in the air like Iron Man flying around with some brutal mid-air combos to match, but also like Iron Man has great ranged attacks because of his hammer, which is what it's all about with Thor. But at the same time, people like the Hulk, this dude deals some serious damage. And because he isn't the size of the Hulk, he doesn't feel quite as held back. Now obviously Hulk is a more tanky and brute of an Avenger, well according to this game, Thor is still something to be reckoned with. In terms of the direction you can take him, in my opinion, it's best based around damage output because what comes with him is a lot of support for teammates. And these apply almost no matter where you look. Like this Marvel, perks that help teammates, he has in his arsenal, like Hell's Discretion, where lightning attacks buff you, but will also revive any downed teammates. But you can also boost players' intrinsic energy by 20% while Warrior Fury is active. And while he has many, many other skills which in turn help your teammates at that enemy's discretion. Now what follows to me to this game, he's obviously a hero, but in this game he plays the hero to the heroes, and while that sums him up best. An Avenger I expected to be great, and indeed was great. So lastly guys, we have no one other than, spoiler, in 3, 2, 1, Captain America. So Captain America, no matter how you feel about him, is probably the ultimate hero within the game, or should be. And I don't mean ultimate as in the best, it's actually in my opinion quite far from that. Now Cap's main weapon is obviously his shield, and while well, they have made him really one dimensional also due to this point. For sure he's capable of what I'd say an all round character is because in my opinion that's exactly what this guy is. The problem is though, this all round character isn't quite as good as Miss Marvel because she does offer much much more. In saying that I do feel his close range combat is much superior to Miss Marvel's, probably more so on that unexpected level of Iron Man's. His ranged attacks though in the form of his shield, just in my opinion don't cut it. Yeah for sure, some skills can amp damage here, but for me he just doesn't feel super enough. I think the main problem with him is the fact he's the last you unlock through the campaign, and while you'll argue characters get better as you unlock them, and while going from Iron Man to Black Widow and then to Thor, you'd expect the last character to be amazing. And in my opinion, although he definitely isn't terrible, for me, he just isn't hero-like enough compared to the others. I actually expected Black Widow to portray this kind of character in this game if I'm honest. I'm surprised it is, in my opinion, Captain America. His skill trees, when you check them out, you can see are centered really on close quarters combat for the most part, and at the same time amping one's own damage and duration of attacks. This I mean isn't a bad thing and hey, it might be what you want, but for me, it just isn't how I want to play this game. Another thing that kind of sums up Captain America is also the fact that he can't hack doors nor break through them with a heavy attack, which really surprises me, but like I said, that to me sums up Captain America.
So yeah guys, those were my thoughts on the available characters within Marvel's Avengers. Within that base game, not including Spider-Man. I will list them now from 6 to 1 in terms of order, I will use them. And at 6, no question to me, it's Captain America. At 5 we have the Hulk, at 4 we have Iron Man, at 3 we have Miss Marvel, at 2 we have 4, and at 1, to my surprise we have Black Widow. Now I will say, to many of you this video won't matter because you already have a favourite before you start playing. I did to be honest, and although 4 won't be the first I progress with, I am very happy I get to do it all again for a second time on him. But yeah guys, those are my thoughts and opinions on each. Avenger, Miss Marvel, Hulk, Iron Man, Black Widow, Thor and Captain America. And on that note we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Avengers be sure to subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.